as Dr. Bowden uh, met with the mother, uh, she had the lingering question as any mother would have, uh, was my child in pain? And uh, Dr. Bowden shared with her in his opinion, he did not uh, suffer. Um, and then lastly, his mother wanted to ask the question that Dr. Biden nor any of the lawyers could answer. What else do we need to give them to arrest the killer of my child? At this time, we will have Attorney Darrell Parks address you, and then uh, Attorney Gray will address you, and then we will have uh, Dr. Biden and Professor Parcells come and try to give all of us a, a little lesson on pathology. Thank you, Attorney Parks. Thank you. In a situation like this, um, facts become very important. Evidence becomes very important, and it's so important that the facts in this case really get out. This case has suffered from a lack of transparency of the, I'm, I'm actually gonna I get ready, I'm gonna hold it up and, and show them something. And you heard Attorney Crump say there was multiple shots. There are two shots that I wanna focus on for my purpose right here today because they become important because they show that the direction of the bullet was in a back to front direction. The first one is what we will call, what we call the, the kill shot. And the one that when Attorney Crump was speaking that he wouldn't have suffered from is right here. At the apex of his head, there was a very, very severe and clear injury. At the apex, the very top, that went from a back to front position. Also, there's a second shot to the head that you've heard us speak about. That shot is here. There's a little dot on the diagram that you see right by his hairline. That bullet went in there and came out near the eye area. That's very important because it shows a back to front for both of those. And it supports what the witnesses said about him trying to surrender to the officer. And his head was in a downward position. It had to be for what had happened. Those type of facts are clear. And we believe that given those kind of facts, this officer should have been arrested. Those things speak for themselves. Why would he be shot in the very top of his head? Six foot four man, makes no sense. And so that's what we have. And that's why we believe that those two things alone are ample evidence for this officer to be arrested. 